am just uh, leaving the Flying J right now, where I spent the night at. I was very surprised. This Flying J doesn't fill up very, very, uh, very much, but I guess it's also because uh, we got the logs right across the street up here, and uh, we also have a TE, TA, just right across here too, so I guess we uh, have lots of parking up in this area, so they don't have to worry about, you know, if you're going to find a parking spot, because there was lots of parking up there today. Alright. Well, looks like the grass is starting to get greener and greener every day. At least down here it is. It's a good sign that uh, eventually we want to have a nice green grass at home, you know. The wife was saying yesterday they got a little bit of ice rain, but... Hopefully that's not going to be too bad. She said it's supposed to snow overnight this morning. Yeah, we got a little bit of rain here overnight too. Oh well, we're going to try and uh, get some miles in behind us today. Here I get me a little earlier start today than I've gotten in the last couple of days, so still not a super early start, but it's better than what I've been doing in the last couple of days. I mean, I should get out of here now at 7:30. The last couple of days I've been starting around 8, 8:30, you know. Been kind of lazy the last couple of days. <laughs> Oh well, some days you just have different feelings and whatever, you know, you drive a little later and then you can't start as early in the day, you know. Continue on this road for 35 miles. Yep. Oh well, we should have a good day today and then we're starting early, you know. Should be in uh, St. Louis in about an hour and a half, two hours probably. Should be going through St. Louis, Missouri. Hopefully the traffic will have died down by the time we get there, you know. Now we should be good to go. Yep. That's going to be real nice when everything is going to be nice and green again. Yep, especially if it's going to be nice and green up here already and it's still uh, not green in Manitoba, it's going to be nice to get that on film, you know. Well guys, we are just cruising along here on US 24 and uh, we are enjoying our day. Yes sir. It's not snowing, it's not raining, although it is cloudy, but uh, hey, it's not really windy out here. We're having a fantastic day. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day yourself. Yep, I probably got about another 45 minutes to drive, and then I will. Uh, have to uh, probably do a pit stop. I looked it up already. There's a flying J up there. Yeah, I'll probably pull in over there. And I'll go have me a bite to eat. I haven't had anything to eat yet, so uh, yeah, I'm starting to get hungry. Oh, somebody is burning something up there. Yeah. Oh well. North River, that's where we're crossing right now. Big river, eh? Yeah, right. Anyways, as I was saying, I'm gonna have to take my break and I'm gonna have to do my half an hour mandatory break. Up here in the United States, we gotta do that, so. Already been driving probably for about 
day I would say about four and three quarter hours or four and a half hours for sure. Yep. Yeah. yeah, just look at these uh, hills that we got up here, right? Eh? That's what we get up here in Central America. I am still in Missouri. Yep. I went to uh, St. Louis a long time ago already, but I was going to film something up there or, or try and get some, some of that city up there, but yeah, and then my wife called me, so I couldn't. Well, I guess I could have filmed, but uh, then I would have had to put music in there, which is all right too sometimes, but I don't like to do it too often, you know. But I hope you guys are ready for summer. I am so waiting for summer. I'm gonna go have some fun at the lake, you know. I'm gonna go do some fishing and maybe some tubing with my friend up there in uh, Winnipeg. He has, uh, he's got a nice boat there and big enough to do some tubing and stuff like that. So. I'm so looking forward to doing that. But it's not quite warm enough yet to do that. Matter of fact, the lakes are still frozen. <laughs> so we won't be doing any kind of tubing anytime soon. At least probably not for the next couple of months. That won't be warm enough for me. Even in June, it's still pretty cold the water, so. Yep. Oh well. Anyways, we'll move along here and see what the day has uh, has in store for us. Well, guys, it looks like we're ready to go. Looks like somebody let their dog loose up here. Yeah. This driver up here, he just gave him a uh, piece of something, and the dog left. Yep. Yeah, we just had ourselves a nice bite to eat up here and yep as I came out of the uh, store out of there I saw something that I see quite often and that is uh, drivers are coming into the Flying Jerry parking lot. Like he came out of the fuel island. He's got his engine brake on. I, I don't know. State Maybe somebody can explain it to me what, right it, what it is. And then turn or, right or why guys do that. Feet. I don't get it. Right, right in the truck stop. And then you're just slowing down and you got your jake brakes on. I don't know. To me it's just weird. I. I never learned that, but maybe somebody has a different idea. Maybe you're gonna explain to me why why guys do that. You know, come out of the fuel island, and you're just pulling into the parking lot, and you got your engine brake on there, and every gear you're shifting, it's going like, you know, like every every time, you know. Like, I mean, I don't get it. Are these, these drivers just don't know where the switch is to turn it off or, or what's the big deal, you know? <laughs> uh, I can't see that being easy to shift gears. I know if I have my engine brake on, it's pretty darn hard to shift the gears. But, I guess that's why we have some steering wheel holders. And some that are called professional Continue drivers. On this road for 158 miles. I suppose. But look at that! Yeah, the sun is starting to come out. Oh, that's a nice sign. The last couple of days, I've all I've all I've been able to see is clouds, and it's been drizzling and raining every once in a while. It looked like the cloud was depressed. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Anyways, we're back on the big highway. I don't know, big highway, but 
just a regular US highway, but at least it's a two lane, like two lanes each way, so that's good. Yep. Well, it looks like the farmers are already starting to uh, work on the soil on there on the field up here. Yeah, it looks like he's uh, he's been on there. I don't know what all the machines are called in English, but looks like this farmer here to the right, he's been on his uh, on his land. Well, it looks like even up there, he's got his machineries up there. I don't know if that's part of the the land, but got some kind of equipment up there, so I guess we'll move over. Oh yeah, he's making hay or something. Yeah, we'll have to see what he's doing up here, but they're doing something. Not sure exactly what they're doing. They got all kinds of hay up here. Oh yeah. Well, they're definitely working on the road, that's for sure. I don't know if they're just cleaning out the ditch or what exactly they're trying to do, but Yeah, it looks like they're trying to straighten out the edge of the road there so it's not a bad drop off or whatever, that's what it looks like. Yep. Oh well, they gotta fix the road too I suppose. Yeah, it's been a gorgeous day so far. I had a five and a quarter hour drive up to here and that was my first stop. Yep, working hard today. Got about another five hours to go. And I'll be close to Minneapolis. I looked it up already while I was in the, in the truck stop there. There is a uh, Petro truck stop there. A little bit into Minnesota there so it's somewhere like between halfway between the Iowa and Minneapolis from the Iowa border to Minneapolis somewhere about halfway so yep anyways let's keep moving keep rolling and see what kind of interesting things we will find for the rest of the day well guys we are going to take this exit right here and yeah, we're gonna go have a stop over here at this Petro up here. This is a very interesting Petro truck stop they got up here. So we're gonna stop up here and we're gonna call it a day. Yes sir. I'll probably take my camera and I'll go inside see what we find inside yep I've been at this truck stop before I got all kinds of goodies in here so we'll see what we can find today this is a fairly big uh, truck stop in 0 0.2 miles to I enjoy coming up here they even got a waterfall up destination there destination on the right yeah. side in 50 feet all right, RJ, we'll do that. Yep. We gotta Turn go right up to the here. Road, and then approaching destination on the right side. In All 50 right. Feet. All right, RJ, you are 100% correct today. This is where the trucks enter. Yep. Oh yeah. This is you where we get to destination, destination on the right side. Petro Albert Lee number 398. We are in Albert Lee, Minnesota. Yep. Now this is something I don't get. There's plenty of parking spots there. And guys, they decide to park over here on the on the left. I don't get it. Why would you want to go park over here? If there's plenty of parking spots up there, you know, I don't get it. I don't know. To me, it's just weird. Why would you go park here on the side? You got signs up there saying no parking. Yet guys are up there parking, you know, like two lines even. Like what's going on, you know? 
plenty of parking just over there yet. Plenty of parking here. You know? And this guy's got his curtains closed already. I mean, come on. Oh well. Some people are just different, I guess. We'll see if we can. Yeah, there's plenty of space up here. I can back in there any, almost any spot I want. Yeah. I'll go probably over there somewhere. Let me see where I can find me a parking spot. Plenty of parking up here yet. Yeah, look at that. And yet the guy's got a park over there on the shoulder. I don't get it, but uh, I guess some people are different. Yeah, I'm gonna go back or in over here. Anyways, we'll be back in a bit. Just look at the cool artifacts that they got up here. Not sure what the story behind it is, but they even got the picture on there. I'm not familiar with this story, but they look pretty tall to me. Look at them bears that they got up here. They got all kinds of interesting stuff up here in this truck stop, eh? It's a nice uh, wooden building. Look at the building that we got up here. Just look at it. They got all kinds of stuff in here, you know? Have uh, we'll a look at this lady up here. Yep. It's pretty interesting, eh? They got this place packed full of stuff. I figured I'd show you guys a little bit. Look at them knives they got up here. Yep. All kinds of interesting gadgets they got up in here, you know? All kinds of toys. Yep. So if you take your lady with you, you might be spending some time in here. Huh. Look at these artifacts they got in here. All kinds of signs. Yep. Definitely interesting. Oh yeah. Oh look at this uh, sun water. That's pretty cool, eh? I think so. Luckily they don't have a lot of music in here so that way you can actually do some recording, you know. There's a lot of places they uh, look at them license plates. Well, that's just a picture, eh? Yep. Get some artificial flowers, I guess. Candle. Got a candle down here. Yep. Look at this lady up here. Yep, look at that. <laughs> some woman's toys. This is pretty cool. This looks nice. Yep. Anyways, just having some fun. Walking around in here, see what they all got in here. Yeah, look at that bunny up here. Yep. Anyways, we'll be back in a bit. Well, guys, this is uh, something I find really cool. Everything is made out of wood, eh? Look at that. Way up there. It's a wooden building, eh? That's something I really, really enjoy, you know? Seeing a lake. This whole building is uh, outside is made out of wood, you know. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna go walk over there to the truck shop and see what kind of toys we got in there, you know. They always got some man toys in there, you know. Yep, let's go walk over there. Yeah, you can see even this side. It's all with wood. Even over there. The whole building, everything's covered in wood that's nice i like that well guys that's gonna do it for today yes sir -y. i am finito yep we're calling it a day i hope you guys have enjoyed today's vlog if you did don't forget to rate the thumbs up oh yeah I appreciate that if you give me a thumbs up. That means you like the video. Yep. But we're ready to go to bed. So with that, we shall see you again tomorrow at 5 a.m. Central Standard Time.
So thanks very much for watching and we'll see you again.